Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti, and today I'm showing you how to make this alley from Minecraft out of resin. And this was the winner of my poll from a few months ago, so I finally had time to make it, and so here it is. So to get started, we're gonna take two part resin and we're gonna mix it together. And this is the most tedious part of the whole project. It's making the different shades of blues so we can make the alley. And I didn't have the right pigment, so it was a lot of trial and error. The colors aren't an exact match, but you know, I tried my best. And I poured it into my little cube mold and smeared off the excess. Then I went ahead and mixed all the different colors of blues and poured that into my mold and let it cure for the 24 hours. And once fully set, I just popped it out of my mold. Honestly, seeing all these different shades of blues uh, was super satisfying. So here are the seven colors that we made. Next I'm using resin tape, but you can use regular tape for this as well. I'm going to use this to stick on my little cubes for the design. And I put a little wooden block just so I can have a flat surface. And I'm just adding in my blocks of resin in the alley pattern. And we're going to seal that with some resin on top and let that cure. And here is the face of our alley. So we're going to repeat this step for the sides of the head. And peeling off the tape is super satisfying as well. With the resin tape, it's not as sticky like regular tape. So now that we have the sides of the head, we're gonna make the other three surfaces. And we're going to seal that with our UV resin and let that cure. And taking it off our tape. And I'm setting it up as how we would uh, cure the pieces together. So first I just took one side of the head. And I cured it with the back. And I just used UV resin and let that cure. And we're going to add another side. We're going to add the bottom of the head. Put our UV resin and let that cure. And we're going to continue that for the other surfaces as well. Next, we're going to add the face and cure that. And then for the top of the head, we're gonna add a piece of tape along with the piece on it. And we're gonna add UV resin to the sides of the head along with the top of the piece. And we're gonna place the head on top of the little square piece like a little puzzle and let that cure through the head and on top. And here is the finished alley head. But then I went ahead and used some resin to give it a layer of glaze on top. So now we have a very shiny alley head. So next we're gonna make the body. It's kind of like a square with a corner missing. And we're gonna glaze that to stick the pieces together. 
And we're gonna take the two parts and stick them together again with some UV resin glaze. And once we have that, we're gonna stick that onto the body. So we left the bottom unglazed just for this step. So I'm gonna add some UV resin, smear it all around, and place our body in the middle and let that cure. Next, I'm gonna make a little mold for the flat pieces. So I'm taking Sorta Clear 12. It's a one to one ratio silicone mold maker and I'm pouring it into a tray. And I'm gonna add these little excess cubes that I had from the Axolotl project. And we're just sticking them there. So once it's all cured out, we should be able to have some flat square silicone molds. And it looks like this. Next, I made four different shades of blue and I filled it inside my silicone mold. And we let it cure under the UV lamp. And I'm gonna use my little resin tape again so we can make the wing pattern. And the alley has some pretty intricate wings. So it was really kind of confusing to make this at first, but I got the hang of it after a while. And to seal the wings together, we're gonna to add our UV resin. And next we're gonna take it off the tape and cure the other side as well with some UV resin. And the wings are so pretty, I love them. We also have these little Tetris pieces. This is gonna be like the little frilly things on the bottom of the alley. I kind of wasn't sure how to make it exactly. I knew it was flat, but I wasn't quite sure. So we decided to just make these little pieces. And I'm putting my resin tape around the body. And I'm also cutting off some parts of the pieces just so we can make space for them without it having to stick out of our body. So we're going to place the little pieces onto our tape. And once we have it all in, we're going to put some UV resin to cure and take off our tape. And we're going to wrap the tape around the other half to do the other corner. And then I'm gonna remove the tape once that side is cured as well. But since it's a little bit opaque, we're going to add some UV resin to glaze it and make it shiny. So for the next step, we're gonna make the arms. And the arms are very easy because they're just one layer of cubes that we don't have to glue together. So that's really nice. But we do have to put the little resin just to stick it together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our little arms kind of at an angle onto our alley body. So I do that by adding a little bit of resin at the tips of the arms, sticking it on there and just letting it cure under the UV lamp. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side as well. And here is the alley body. Now we just have to add our wings that we made earlier. So I'm gonna add a little bit of resin on the tip of the wings stick it at a slant and let that cure one at a time and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one and here is the finished alley oh it looks so good last time everyone told me that I should use resin for the flat pieces so I decided to do that and I think it looks better than the clay honestly because it sticks with that translucent theme and I'm so happy I did that I also made a little stand just so I could hold it in. It doesn't actually stand, but it's just something for me to hold on to. 
So here is the alley and it looks so good. I'm so happy that I made this project. And it's much smaller than my axolotl, as you can see the size comparison. But they're both sitting nicely on top of my desk. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching.